guys, welcome to Posh Paper Perfection. My name is Marie Antoinette and welcome to my channel. Hey guys, it's Marie Antoinette, owner of Posh Paper Perfection and I'm so excited and very proud to share this video with you. So have you ever had this problem? You're an artist, you're a stamper, you're someone who does their work by using a table and you want to do tutorials on how to do things. Um, most people want to have this thing called a tabletop view. But the problem is, is that how do you do that without getting your tripod legs in the picture so <laughs> i watched the video and um this amazing youtuber she walked through how to create a tabletop view creating your own framing for your camera so um what you're looking at right here is two 12 four by fours they're basically two scrap woods that um, Lowe's generously gave me, uh, two pieces of galvanized piping that is 12 inches, one of the galvanized um, piping uh, is 36 inches, so that's a total of three, two phalanges and eight screws, that's it. The cost is about $60, and I have to admit, um, there are kits on Amazon that are much cheaper that you can get um, a 10 foot one for $37. The problem for me is spacing. I don't have enough space for something that big and I want it to be on my table. I also don't want to have to pay for another um, tabletop background. So what I mean by that is um, the tabletop backgrounds, you can buy all kinds of different backgrounds um, so your background looks beautiful, okay, like a marble background, da da da, da. Well, I have this beautiful desk and uh, when you film up close, it looks beautiful. So why would I have to pay for another background to lay on top of my table? It just doesn't make any sense. So this is exactly the place that I want to film my tutorials, my DIYs, okay? Um, so this fits perfectly on my desk. Um, the 12 inch boards are perfect for a desk. They don't hang over. I mean, it's great. And then the other thing that I love about it, it's sturdy. Yes, it's heavy as crap, <laughs> but it is sturdy. And if I wanted to get some light clips and um, hang some lights there with some, I, I, I'm guessing that they're called um, grappling hooks or, or whatever, um, I could get those on Amazon and I don't have any of that. So what I had to do was make again Marie's makeshift um, camera setup and I used my um, Lifeway tripod. That's what's holding my M50 camera right now. Hey guys, here's an update to my video. Since recording, I purchased a Camvate one fourth inch 360 rotating monitor mount. It's supposed to be for the DJI Ronin M handheld gimbal. Um, I will tell you if you can see here up close, um, I did have to use Gorilla Tape just so the clamp is a perfect fit. Without the duct tape, the clamp was hanging and loose. I love this gimbal because I can rotate my camera any way that I want. I do have to be careful with the screws. Um, also, it can rotate down 
and I can shoot myself upside down if I want. <laughs> or I could just like um, rotate it to go in the opposite direction um, and, uh, you know, do all kinds of different angles. This is so much better than my LifeWay flexible tripod. I love my tripod. Do not get me wrong. I mean, I can have this anywhere with me traveling, hanging on a tree, hang it anywhere where it's able to. But with the weight of the camera, it just all of a sudden just flopped and went sideways. But here you see I have a perfect shot to go down onto my desk, which is pretty awesome. I will have the link to the mount on my description. Um, if you have any questions, let me know. And thank you so much to my VRA uh, family for suggesting this particular one. But again, if you're going to make this um, uh, camera rig, you will need Gorilla Tape. The half inch galvanized pipe is way too small for this clamp. So again, just make sure you're using Gorilla Tape or masking tape. I wrapped it around, I believe four times and it, then it was the perfect fit. Now it's not so easy to um, rotate it up but I at least can take it off and then readjust it uh, to a setting where it's not gonna move. One other thing that I wanted to share with you all about why I love that it's steel and it's not made from PVC pipe is the stability. So when I demonstrate, um, I use this baby a lot, the Big Shot. And the Big Shot is a beast. I mean, meaning when I am uh, turning the handle, it shakes my table. Now this table is pretty solid here, but even with shaking, you can see, well, only my hand is shaking, um, but the camera is not shaking. So I absolutely love that. I'd say pair the cam bait with the rods you're gonna have like the perfect rig system. It is a beautiful, a beautiful shot. So this is super easy to use. Oh, I almost forgot. And you need two elbows. If you don't have the two elbows, you can't connect the pieces, okay? Um, it took me a matter of 10 minutes to assemble and 10 minutes because I'm not handy and I'm also weak. <laughs> I didn't have any male strength to uh, twist the uh, pipes together, okay? Um, which they are threaded, so, you know, again, easy to do. Uh, I can't wait to, you know, paint it and make it look pretty. Uh, um, but this is what I'm using, and I have my camera facing down the correct way. So, um... I think that was one of the issues with my uh, filming last time was that if there is a setting for turning your camera mirror, uh, mirrored, um, I don't know how to do it. <laughs> but um, this is a lot better. So I absolutely love it. So anyway, I hope you guys love it too. And um, if this was helpful for you, you want to see more DIYs like this one, um, go ahead and comment below. I would love to hear from you. And um, on my channel, I do all kinds of things, but this one in particular, I do um, paper crafting. I love paper. So check out my Etsy shop and Posh Paper Perfection. Thanks so much for watching, and I challenge you to make one of your own. You will love it.